What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're not at the skate park. We're actually going to do some street skating today. There are a few reasons I don't skate street regularly and it's because one, the ground is really rough and it sucks. So when you fall, your hands get all scraped up and it hurts much worse than on the smooth ground at the skate park. And because of that rough ground, it also ruins your skateboard much faster. The friction of the rough ground just destroys your skateboard. My skateboard's kind of on its last life. Uh, I've got a new one at home. I'm just waiting to set it up. So I don't mind destroying this board. So we're gonna skate some street. I don't plan on going all over town, but there's this really nice three stair right here. It's super small, it's tiny. I suck at skating stairs. So the whole goal for today is to do tricks down this little stair set. The ultimate goal is to possibly tray flip down this. Um, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I might just chicken out, but that's the goal to tray flip down this little three stair. So let's warm up. Do tray flips. Let's do four tray flips on flat before I start skating the stairs. Okay, that's four tray flips. Now moving on to the stair set. I don't know how this is gonna go down. This might go really poorly, and I'll just head to the skate park. But Here's hoping, right? Let's do it. I think that's the first time I've ever done a pop shove it down. So the stairs, even though these are very small, still counts. Starting to get kind of windy, as you saw, my camera flipped over, but I'm super hyped on that kickflip. I probably kickflipped this six, seven years ago in high school, and I really haven't skated street here since because I've been living in Greensboro for college. Super nostalgic, that kickflip, and it just felt really good. Now, the real battle is the tray flip. I have no idea if this is gonna be successful or not, but if it's a bust and I'm just not feeling it, I'll just go to the skate park and finish the day on a good note. I'm really not too boned about the tray flip. I haven't skated street in probably three or four years, so it's been a very long time. And again, the main reason I don't skate street is because I like to use my boards as long as possible. And skating street wrecks the edges and the corners of the board and just deteriorates your board twice as fast. In Greensboro, where I went to college, there were three skate parks all within the city. There were two outdoor and one indoor. There was really no need for me to skate street because I had plenty of parks to go to to switch things up if I got bored at one park. And because I got in trouble a couple times skateboarding on campus because that's technically not allowed, but it's whatever. And my local skate park in Lexington has only been here for not even a year yet. So before that was there in high school, way back in high school, four or five years ago, I would only skate street. I would come up town almost every night and just skate street, skate a lot of the local spots here. And it was just fun. Wrecking my board was just normal. But now that I've had nice skate parks for the past couple years, it's really hard to transition back into street skating. But I want to do more with it because a lot of my friends street skate and it's, it'd be fun to go out and skate with them. But right now I'm just not comfortable enough doing it yet. But it's crazy that all these places, and you'll see this in the clips I'm about to show, but all these places used to be old furniture factories. They were just three, four story tall buildings that were just completely abandoned. And they've been abandoned for as long as I can remember, like since I was a kid, really. 
And I just remember back in the day, back in high school, four or five years ago when they were still here, we would go in them and explore them. Like for instance, right over here where the amphitheater is, there used to be a huge factory and there was a gate there that you couldn't get through. But at the very bottom of the gate, there was like a little bump in the fence. You could slide under it, get inside. And once you got in, you could just completely explore the whole place. There was even a staircase that took you to the very top of the building. Like not the top floor, but the top of the building. And to this day, I still think it is the dumbest thing we've ever done. We could have easily hit a wrong spot and fallen through the building because these buildings are years and years old. They, they weren't sturdy. It was just stupid. And the dumbest thing is I used to go back there by myself. Like if my friends couldn't skate or something, I would go up town and skate and just to go exploring, I would go onto this fence by myself and go back in the factories. The sad part is when some of these factories burned down back here, it took away a lot of skate spots. There was like a, a little ledge. I know there was a rail and there was a staircase back here as well. But a couple years ago, there was a huge factory fire. No one really knows how it started, but it just burned down the entire strip of factories. It was crazy. They just all came crumbling down. And now it's just a grassy field for now until the city decides to put something there. I think I'll probably start street skating a little more. I mean, when I'm skating in the street, like this, I don't have to leave if people show up because no one's gonna show up. At the skate park, if it starts getting too crowded, I leave to avoid people because I'm trying to maintain social distancing and all that, you know. I'm definitely gonna go back for that tray flip, uh, maybe later this week or something, but for now, I'm okay with it. I made a lot of good progress today on that little stair set. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, it means a lot. If you wanna see more from me, hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video, hit the like button as well. There'll be some older videos right here. Be sure to check those out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.